In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hem. A hem is a way to finish the bottom of your sleeves, pant legs, skirt, or dress. So it's a way to shorten it so it becomes personal to you and also gives it a nice professional finish. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to hem by using my sleeve as an example here in my project. So regardless if you're doing a sleeve, a pant leg, a skirt bottom, it's all this pretty much the same when doing a hem. Now the pattern may give you an idea on how much they would like you to hem it up. It might say at the bottom of the pattern, hem an inch or whatever. But I find it to be a good rule of thumb to try on the garment before you hem, or if you're making it for somebody else, have them try it on. This way you can make the hem as wide or as narrow as you need it to be so that it fits you perfectly. Now if you try it on and it has you know like three plus inches that you have exceeding, you can trim this. So you maybe cut off an inch from this top portion just to make it a little bit easier to manage. For this particular one I'm going to do my hem of an inch. Since I'm going to turn it over a quarter of an inch from the top that means I'm going to add a quarter of an inch to my one inch. So I'm going to fold this an inch and a quarter. And why I say that is because a quarter of an inch from the top I'm going to fold it under so that I don't have any raw edges showing on the underside of my garment. So that's why I'm adding a quarter of an inch to my one inch. Alright, so I'm going to put it at an inch and a quarter on my sewing gauge. And it's a little much, so let me just make this a little smaller. And that looks about right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my pin in and I'm going to measure an inch and a quarter all the way around my sleeve here. Once I finish doing this, I'm going to take this to my iron and I'm going to press this so that I have a nice crisp edge here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sewing gauge again and I'm going to put it down to the one inch mark and roll this under so that now this part is going to be all lined up with an inch. Then I'm going to press it again and then it's pretty much ready to sew. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. So I went ahead and pressed my hem. So now I'm going to turn this under about a quarter of an inch. And I have my sewing gauge now to one inch. And maybe just a little bit more. That looks about right. And now I'm going to pin the top with the quarter inch included. So you might have to use more pins so that your quarter inch seam on top doesn't keep popping up. But I just find when I'm doing the smaller portions, I definitely have to use more pins to hold it in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish pinning this all the way around. And then I'm going to press it one more time, just so I make sure this top part now lays nice and flat. Let me go on this side. And then once I have that ironed, <clears throat> I am then going to take it over to my machine. And what I'm going to do is just stitch right along the top, next to my top fold, and get pretty close, but I don't want to get so close that I sometimes go over into my fabric here. So I'm just going to stay right along the edge and just sew all the way around and then your hem is done and that's how you do it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning this and then we'll get over to the machine. So now I'm going to sew my hem. I'm going to take off my sewing machine attachments here so it's a little bit easier to work with. And I like doing this because now I have a skinny base and I could just slip 
it on here and just turn it around so I don't have any danger of accidentally sewing this back portion to the top portion and thereby closing my sleeve. So that's what's nice about doing it that way. So, okay, I'm going to put my needle down and I'm gonna make sure that I wanna get pretty close to the edge here. So I'm probably maybe like an eighth of an inch away from my edge. And I'm just gonna make sure that I do a couple of back stitches. You're just gonna have it on a regular stitch setting. So whatever your normal length is for your machine when you do seams, that's what you want it to be. And so I'm just gonna go all the way around. And once you get over and you made it all the way around and clip your, your threads, then you finish doing your hem. And that's all there was to it. I went ahead and turned my sleeve right side out so you can see what the finished product looks like. Here's my hemline right here. And it's kind of hard to see the actual stitching because I, I matched my thread to my fabric as closely as I could. I'm gonna flip this inside out so you can see the wrong side of the flute garment. This is the side that we were working on. So here's my hemline again. So the hem is it's pretty easy and pretty basic. And you can do this step for doing sleeves, pant legs, skirts, dresses, any item that you wanna have a nice clean finish and yet it also gives you the opportunity to shorten it some more so that it becomes more customized to you. And that's how you do a hem.